So hey everyone, the best OnePlus phone is coming this year and OnePlus is about to push the boundaries. So yes, big news coming from the digital chat station, he says that OnePlus 10 Ultra is in the testing phase, which means the design and specs are not final, so OnePlus is working on two main devices, one of which is the Nord 3 which will come with a Dimensity 8100 SoC which we will discuss in another video. The OnePlus 10 Ultra is equipped with the SM8475 Silicon which is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. Now according to the DCS, Qualcomm could announce the 8 Gen 1 Plus as early as May or June and flag Ships from OnePlus, Xiaomi and Moto could debut with this silicon in July or August. The best part is that 8 Gen 1 Plus heat deception and power control are better than 8 Gen 1. The processor is clocked at 2.99 GHz with a little GPU upgrade. Compared with the Dimensity 9000 destroying the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, Qualcomm's latest chip is generating a lot of heat which is why they aim to release the TSMC based 8 Gen 1 Plus very soon. This CPU combined with the Oxygen OS 13 on top will be potent combination. Yeah, it's official that OnePlus is collaborating with Google on Oxygen OS 13 which will feature a stock Pixel OS experience which is fantastic. The initial schematic shows how the OnePlus 10 Ultra may appear and then we saw the official patent by OnePlus. This schematic shows that OnePlus is using a periscope telephoto lens in OnePlus 10 Ultra which could result in a 5x or 10x lossless zoom which could give the Samsung S22 Ultra a run for its money. According to certain reports, OnePlus is aiming to transition to a center punch hole display which will look great. I am hoping for a bionic T lens for a quick selfie and a small hole. Aside from cameras, the design and most of the specifications appears to be the same as the OnePlus 10 Pro. The phone will include a 6.7 inches LTPO2 AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10+. Given that OnePlus has yet to announce anything regarding the 10 Ultra, the facts should be taken with a grain of salt. Because this could be a new tier in the OnePlus lineup, there is no word on what the price tag might be. If the Ultra is more expensive, it might cost more than $1000 which has become the standard for flagship smartphone in previous years. So what do you think about this OnePlus 10 Ultra device? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.